Now joining me is Harold Schaefberger. He's the president of the International Association of Firefighters. And I want to talk to you about the national scope here. What do you think? Do you think that the momentum here for this hard right wing ideology is kind of stopped cold in its tracks, given what you're seeing out of the governors, whether it's Daniels in Indiana, Kasich in Ohio, even Chris Christie said, oh, no, 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 collective bargaining, it's totally okay. Well, let, let's start with John Kitt. First, this is truly a organized, coordinated effort all across this country to try to silence workers' voices and to try to deny them their basic rights, many of those rights, as in Wisconsin, that they've enjoyed for over 50 years. If you take a look at really what's going on, this is about governors promoting collective bargaining uh, withdrawal or undermining collective bargaining rights in at least eight states, Nebraska, Iowa, Oklahoma, Michigan, of course, Wisconsin, Ohio. I mean, if you layer that on top of 12 states, right to work laws now being considered. New Hampshire just passing it in their House of Representatives, a bill to undermine and gut workers' rights and the ability for unions to represent workers. If you take a look at paycheck deception laws that they call protection laws to silence workers in the political arena, 15 states. If you look at the laws that were passed in Alabama to deny workers the ability to simply deduct dues from their paycheck so that they could be members of their unions that's now in Tennessee, moving into Oklahoma, several other states. This is a coordinated attack to try to assault and gut America's labor movement, and they're using the old tactics of divide and conquer. Right. Whether they're trying to divide the private sector workers from public sector workers, or as in Wisconsin, they thought they would divide us by trying to give firefighters cops and troopers a little something, take it away from everybody else, hoping that we would battle amongst ourselves while they just stand on the sidelines. And that's not working. We are united in Wisconsin. And it's, you know, it's a credit to the firefighters who say, hey, look, even though this didn't affect me, I I'm still going to fight uh, for my fellow worker. So now uh, the real critical question, if you ask me, is, did this work against the Republicans? So they tried this, as you said, and they wanted to spread it to other states. We've been showing it all week, all their attempts to try to spread it to other states. But now it looks like they're in a little bit of a retreat. Did they screw up here? Was this a, a tactical mistake? Did they lose? Well, it does look like that we have some governors that are taking another look at this strategy. Obviously, you mentioned Indiana, and now it appears that right to work that was moving through that legislature has been withdrawn. You're taking a look at Michigan, where the governor there looks like he is slowing down the effort to uh, undermine their collective bargaining law. I believe it's fair to say, taking the position, let's see how Wisconsin works out. So I think you're seeing a pause, but I do not under underestimate uh, the uh, the significance of these attacks. I don't underestimate um, uh, Governor Walker's resolve. Obviously, that tape simply shows that he is reveling in this, and he thinks that he is uh, simply going to not bend or break. And I can tell you this. This is what's really sad. The public needs to understand. The employees in Wisconsin have been trying to meet with the governor. He refuses to meet with them. They've made it clear that they understand that they have to pay more toward their pension, more toward their health care. But this isn't about the budget. This is just old-fashioned union busting right now, and he sees this as an opportunity to be ground zero to start undermining and dismantling America's labor movement. And we are taking a stand, and we are fighting back. And it looks like uh, your stand is working to some degree. So, Harold Schaetberger, thank you for joining us tonight. We appreciate you. Thanks uh, so much for having me.